To some political matters now, the Ondo State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party will today conduct its primary to elect a standard bearer for the October 10th governorship election. This is barely 48 hours after the All Progressives Congress returned Governor Rutimia Keridolu as its candidate for the election. The National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Kola Logbodion, said, and I quote, about 2,111 delegates from the local government areas of the state would converge on the International Events Center in Akure to choose one out of the eight aspirants to contest against Akere Dolu. The aspirants are Eitayo Jegede Agbola Ajayi, Edi Olafeso, Banji Okunomo, Shola Ebiseni, Bode Ayorindi, Boluaji Kulnere, and Gude Erewa. The PDP National Working Committee met with seven of the aspirants on Monday, and the aspirants all signed an undertaking to accept the outcome of the election. Joining us live is Femi Lawson, a political analyst, to make sense of all of this. Good to have you, uh, Mr. Lawson. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Lawson. Can you hear me? Great. Uh, let's begin by asking you, are you surprised with Ayitayo's emergence? Because, you know, many probably from a distance thought the coast was clear for Agbola Ajayi to have decamped mm -hmm. to PDP. What's your thought? Well, I, I have said, so I'm not surprised that So if you look at the politics of People's Democratic PDP, from the last time, which I just had to be contested I'm sorry, Mr. Lawson. I am struggling to hear you. I am struggling to hear you. Okay, I thank you, sir. Are you hearing me clearly now? Yes, better, much better. So, from the last time that Mr. Ita contested the governorship election in the year 2016, he has consistently remained in the party and he has continued to galvanize the support of members of the party towards what happened yesterday. Recall that Mr. Gwalajari, uh, who, like he said, people at home was going to get the ticket, nearly came to the party less than a month ago. So it is not surprising that Mr. Jagede won the governorship primary of the TDP in London State today. All right. I mean, having said so, Ondo has been so much uh, on, on, in the, on, on the limelight during this time. Uh, what do you fear most or what are you most worried about even as they prepare towards this uh, election? Well, what the, the average person in Ondo State is worried about and is concerned with is the readiness of political actors, particularly in the major political parties, of APC and PDP to conduct themselves in such a way that uh, we ensure that the election is peaceful. Our people in Ondo State are more concerned about having a peaceful election irrespective of who becomes the winner. Let's talk about zoning, you know, what about the zoning factor and on those central candidate against an Ondo North candidate? Please run us through this zoning factor, which seems to be uh, a major issue, if you like. Well, you are, you are very correct. While uh, one may agree with the fact that uh, major candidates for this election are coming from different territorial districts of the state, it is also important to see that uh, the performance of Governor Kaidolu as the governor of the state may, in one way or the other, alter the constitution for the zoning arrangement. Mm -hmm. And perhaps, if we want to look at it from the perspective of those of us that are here, it is not even expected that a replacement for the incumbent governor, who is from the northern part of the state, or oh, not, will be a candidate from Mondo Central. Mm -hmm. It should ordinarily, from the view of people who are here, have been from Mondo South. I will add a governor, Governor Nisha Kumimiko, from the same central, who governed the state for eight years, just before Governor Kredo Duke. So, a lot of our people are not seeing the emergence of a candidate 
from the other center as a major effect that could, you know, cause any unexpected uh, surprise. Right. Uh, I mean, it was one of our, our analysts who said last week that Ondo State is um, politically sophisticated, the people of that state. Now, do you foresee yes. a rejection of the result, especially with the closeness of the first runner-up uh, to the winner? Well, um, you see, our people, like, just like you just alluded to, are politically sophisticated. Our people will vote for a candidate on the basis, you know, of their manifesto or what antecedents they have as far as public governance is concerned. What leading candidate in this election, as it stands today, have had the opportunity of being in government? Mr. Ita Agegede, as a commissioner for justice during the administration of uh, Mr. Alishek Mimiko in other states, he has been in the public circle. Governor Akede Lu is also the candidate of the major political party, APC, has also been privileged to be in government and as a governor for the past four years. Mm -hmm. Our people are more interested in what programs these candidates and their parties will have to sell to make life more meaningful for them. But as it stands today, Governor Africa the new stands, you know, a little, a little bit higher ahead because having been governor for four years, their impact he has made and their, of course, references to developmental interventions he has made in those states mm -hmm. that he can use. And it's already using to seek a second time from the people of Ondo State. All right. Now, let's talk about the Deputy Governor, uh, Agbola Ajayi. What could be his fate now? Uh, do you see him flying another party's ticket? Well, uh, he has made a statement that I just read this morning. And uh, I am glad he has said he has, he's congratulated the winner and uh, he has said it's a it's a, it's a contest, and they will not say much, but he will continue to support, you know, um, the, the, the party in ensuring that uh, the, uh, the further different democracy in the state. So I don't see him taking the other, uh, the, another option of, you know, seeking to contest on any other platform. Mm -hmm. Everyone accepted the outcome of the, but, uh, the party primary is in good faith. Mm -hmm.